We're discussing the finest ever try in World Cup rugby history. Philippe? Uh, the, there is one in 91 uh, is Australian after one chip uh, by Michael Lina, uh, David Campese. Catch a ball and uh, play outside, inside, and put the ball behind the shoulder to Tim Moran and score in a corner. He's, he's marvelous, he's a good technique, and is uh, uh, the feeling. Eh? And another one is with the French team in 87. And uh, with Denis Charvet, we play in one way. And after, we play in another way with the backs and forwards. I don't know if uh, there were one forward uh, with the ball uh, uh, during the move, but uh, Serge Blanco in the end uh, catch the ball and uh, run to, to the corner. And there were the Australian hooker. Uh, Tommy Lawton, yeah, shoot yeah, them off in just the process. Very close, close, and uh, Serge Blanco scored. One of my favourites is, is, is this game in 87, the, the France Australia game and Alan Orio. Yeah, Australia had, I think, a five metre line out um, near their own line. They threw the ball in, won it. And uh, you just saw Lorio get in, rip, rip the thing out, went up the blind side and, and just stuffed the ball over the line. It was just one of those tries. Like, I remember as a young lad watching that, thinking that was a, you know, an amazing try to score in a World Cup semi final. Well, for the try that sort of sticks out to me, it was actually a, a pull round. I think it was actually the opening game of the uh, 1987 World Cup versus Italy. It came from a kickoff. David Kirk picked it up for uh, halfback and then passed the ball out to John Kerwin and then just started this run. Take nothing away from Italy. It was uh, um, it was great to see him score, but that just that individual try just it was just a special one. What about you, Joel? You, you agree with some of those? Disagree with yeah, any of them? Yeah, definitely. I think the John Kerwin try against Italy. And I also have a vision of Campisi. I think in 1991 against New Zealand, coming down the left side, he had a couple of players in front of him. And it, it almost looked like nothing was on, yet he managed to beat these two players, two all black backline defenders, and get in in the corner, just had a vital time, crucial timing, and, and also, you know, one of those elusive runners who on his day could beat any defence. If we just sum it all up then, if you had to pick just one try, what would be your favourite try? Because I actually, I loved the game, I'd mm. go with Serge Blanco's try in uh, Australia versus France in the semi-final. 87. Yeah, for me, I think it was Tim Horan's try, you know, with the ball off Campese around the back of his neck. Philippe? The Serge Blanco tries. <laughs> and the team are run. Uh, you can't decide, undecided. Uh, Serge Blanco. Very diplomatic of you. Joe? I'll go the Campo one around the two Kiwi defenders. A lot of Aussies in there. Alan Laurier. Alan Laurier, one for the forwards, eh? <laughs> there we go, five choices. Now you get your chance to decide.